Hey y'all, this is Catherine, and I thought I would just quickly record my June favorites. It is June 28th. The month flew by. Um, I would record this later in the week, but I have some other stuff going on, some doctor's appointments and stuff, so I thought I would just go ahead and get this out of the way. This is stuff that, like, every day I've been using um, this whole month of June. So let's just jump right in. Um, the first thing that I've been using a lot, um, I, I was using a lot of the, like, on my other channel, I did a video about MAC lipsticks and MAC lip glosses. I'm pretty new to the MAC lipsticks and lip glosses. It's not something I've been using for ages. Um, but some of them are really drying. And I, my lips were, I was having to exfoliate my lips a lot more often than normal. And it, it was just not good for me. So I've gone back to, on a more regular basis, using these, which I absolutely love. It's the Sally Hansen Diamond 12 Hour Lip Treatment. And I absolutely love these. This one is in solitaire and it's a corally pink. And I'm actually wearing this on my lips at the moment. It's the only thing I'm wearing. And I love this color because corally pinks for the summer I think are fabulous. And this is actually moisturizing also. So I don't have to like worry about putting on chapstick and putting on lipstick. And yeah, it stays on really long. I don't have to reapply very often. And I love it. Okay, I'm just going to toss these on my bed as I go. The next thing I'm loving is my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I bought this about a month ago and didn't use it and because I was like, oh, junky eyelid primer. I want to really um, run out of my Urban Decay first, except one day I was just like, I'm going to try it out. So I really like it. It is has a dough tip applicator. It's only a dollar. And my Urban Decay one, you can just see, oh, there it is, how it blends out right there. Blends out to nude, just like the Urban Decay one. And I've, I've actually liked this so far. I, it's very comparable to the Urban Decay, and the price of it is awesome. I just love it. So um, that's definitely something I've been using every day. Something else I've been using every day is this Tinted Moisturizer, which I got more of a tan, so I didn't have a ton of makeup that matched my face. Um, so I pulled out this Organic Wear in Natural to Tan. It's a 100% natural organic moisturizer, tinted moisturizer um, by Physicians Formula. And I love this. I love the consistency of it. At first, when I first bought it, I thought it was really watery, but now I like it more and more. And I've realized that I just have to use a little bit more product than I was using and kind of work it into my skin really well. I'm still not a huge fan of the smell of it. It has a very like botanical smell, but not a, anything that I really like. It's not like lavendery or anything like that. It's just very, I don't know. But I've been using it and I really like it. Um, very just light coverage. Um, the next thing I have been using every day just about is the Wet n Wild Natural Blend Pressed Powder. And it just looks like that. It comes with the little sponge, but I don't use this little sponge. And yeah, I really like this. As you guys know, I'm trying to get into more of like the paraben pre and natural kind of makeup. Um, really taking care of your body and your skin and just your hair and everything. So I've really been enjoying this. This is paraben free and so is the um, tinted moisturizer I just showed you. Um, another thing I've been using on my face every day which isn't paraben free but I picked it up kind of in a pinch because I needed sunscreen when I was up at the lake and it is this face sunscreen by Aveeno and I really like it. After this bottle's gone I will probably try to find a paraben free brand but for now this is going to have to work for me because I'm not going to go, I just bought this, so I'm not going to go buy another one quite yet. Um, just goes on really smooth, doesn't really feel, it doesn't feel oily, it's oil free and all of that, but doesn't feel oily, goes into your skin well, and yeah, it gives 30 um, SPF sun protection, so that's great. And another thing I've been using is, that I bought at Sephora is this by La Vanilla, and it's the Healthy Deodorant. And this is in Vanilla Lavender. I really like the lotion of this, and that's what kind of compelled me to buy it. And it's just like round, it smells just like the lotion, and I love this. Um, just, it's a great deodorant, all natural, no parabens or anything, and can't go wrong with that. Whoa, whoops, I didn't break anything, don't worry. Um, and something else I picked up at CVS is this Rin Pure Organics Color Protecting Deep 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 Condi Conditioner. Um, now my hair is no longer, um, this is my natural hair color, but this, even though this is saying that it's for color protecting, I mean it's good to protect your hair color in the sun anyway, especially in the summer when you're out in the sun. Um, I have been using the Macadamia Natural Oil um, Deep Repair Mask, but this smells like very clean. I like the smell of it, 
and the moisture of it is just great. And the fact that it doesn't have sulfates or parabens, dyes, gluten, I don't know how to pronounce those last two, but it doesn't have any of those really makes it a great product for me because I'm trying to get those things out of my cabinet. So I'm trying not to break something, okay. Another thing that I picked up at CVS when I got that Rin Pure Organics Conditioner is the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Flat Iron Spray by Organics, which you can see is sulfate and sodium free. And I absolutely love this. I used to be obsessed with Chi Iron Guard. Then I fell in love with the Tresemme, um, the heat spray. I tried the Pantene heat spray and didn't like it. But this, I like. I love the smell of this. I love it more, actually, than the Chi stuff. It's definitely a little bit of a different product, but it has coconut oil, cocoa butter, avocado oil, and keratin in it. And it just smooths your hair great. It is a great heat protectant. I absolutely love this. I will continue to buy this. Um, I've not found anything comparable for a heat protectant. And I keep doing that. Um, the next, uh, oh, something else that I've really been loving. Um, I used to just clip my hair back out of my face when I did my makeup, but I've actually, I bought these scrunchie bands, which I actually bought for the intention of laying out like by the pool to get my hair out of my face, which I do use them for. And I got like a pack with a bunch of colors. Um, but I've actually been taking like a black one or a dark brown one um, when I do my makeup and just like putting this on like right here. It does not leave a crease in my hair which is why I don't like using like headbands a lot of times in clips because my hair like if you put a clip in it it crimps really easily since it just does that. I don't know it's always been that way. So I really like these. Um, I use these by the pool and um, when I'm doing my makeup now so really like those. I bought this also at Sephora when I got the um, La Vanilla deodorant, and it's the Saint Tropez Saint, Saint Tropez bronzing mousse, and this is great. Um, if you guys don't know anything about this, I suggest you going and looking at Megan Hart's makeup. She did a video on this on self tanning, and this was the product that she used. I was like, oh, you know, it's not gonna work for me. I'm always had bad experiences with self tanners. Something compelled me to buy this, so I did, and I absolutely love it. Now, the one thing I would tell you about this is if you buy it at Sephora, they don't sell the mitt to apply it with um, at Sephora, so you, you need to go online and do that. Next, like This time around, I would probably just go online and buy it and find a coupon code for it, um, but I really like this. It's very like even and looks very natural, not orangey at all. Okay, and then my last body product is this lotion, which is by DKNY, and it's the Apple of the Day lotion, and this smells just like the Be Delicious perfume. I actually got this in a set a while back, and I just had never used the lotion. I was like, oh, I have so many lotions. I'm always overwhelmed because there's like 100 bottles of lotion that I have. I don't know where they come from because I don't buy that much lotion, but I really like this. I love wearing this and then like wearing this on my legs and arms and everything. And yeah, just love the smell of this lotion. The thing is this nail polish by China Glaze, which is on my extremely chipped nails right now. And this is Pool Party, and it is like a neon pink. This is probably my favorite hot pink for summer. So I've been wearing that a lot on my nails now. And the last thing, but not least, is my jewelry favorite of the month, and it would have to be Big Rings. I have this one from Jewel Mint, which I'm just like absolutely obsessed with. Um, and then the other one that I'm like really loving is this one by Lily Pulitzer and it looks like a huge shell and it is just like so cute and I'm just loving the big statement jewelry for the summer with simple outfits. So anyways, that's it for my June favorites. I'd love to see what you like or leave me a comment of what you like below and thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day.